Cardiovascular diseases are the leading cause of death in the world, killing more people every year than all forms of cancer combined. The precursor to the majority of cardiovascular diseases is atherosclerosis, which is accumulation of plaque initiated by low density liver protein oxidation, which ultimately leads to hypertension and stenosis. Current treatments include physically bypassing the plaque or using statin type drugs to lower blood cholesterol levels. These are riddled with complications and side effects. And furthermore, they are all treatments of atherosclerosis after its diagnosis rather than being preventative approaches. The endothelial glycocalyx is a potential area of focus in prevention of atherosclerosis. The glycocalyx is a porous, brush-like structure composed of glycoproteins and glycosaminoglycans that line the inner blood vessel wall. It regulates blood vessel wall endothelial cell signaling and remodeling to protect vascular tone, and it acts as a barrier between the lumen and vessel wall. Furthermore, there is evidence indicating that atherosclerosis coincides with degraded glycocalyx, and so we're focusing on whether the health of the glycocalyx can help with uptake of nanoparticle drug delivery vehicles that have become popular today. The particles we've chosen for our study are ultra-small gold nanoparticles coated in polyethylene glycon called polymer to reduce nonspecific interactions. These particles are tagged with an Alexafluor 647 fluorophore, which allows visualization under fluorescent confocal microscopy. These particles are incubated with rat fat pad and endothelial cell monolayers, which were then fixed and stained for glycocalyx components such as bovine serum albumin and heparin sulfate. In the images contained in this manuscript, blue represents the nucleus, green is glycocalyx, and red is the gold nanoparticles. The glycocalyx thickness and coverage are quantified as metrics of glycocalyx structure. We measured intact glycocalyx, collapsed glycocalyx, and degraded glycocalyx, as well as glycocalyx that was recovered by the addition of exogenous heparin sulfate. The thickness of the glycocalyx decreased for both collapse and de degradation treatments and additionally when we added heparin sulfate after degradation, we partially recovered the glycocalyx. We found that uptake of the gold nanoparticles within these various samples depended greatly on glycocalyx condition. For the healthy controlled glycocalyx, uptake was minimal almost not able to be measured, but for both dysfunctional models, red fluorescence, an indicator of uptake, increased over sixfold. Localization of the particles was very dependent also on the type of glycocalyx damage. The collapsed glycocalyx showed more particles within the cell body, while the degraded glycocalyx showed more particles in the remaining discontinuous glycocalyx. The addition of heparin sulfate to recover the glycocalyx successfully decreased particle uptake to baseline levels, indicating high potential for regeneration of glycocalyx and long-term therapeutics targeted at glycocalyx.